Okay, let's talk about Slate Aspire, the board game pro pro proposition. Uh, this is the last day that you can pledge, uh, late pledge. Uh, I dug into it, so I booted up Slate Aspire in the Switch. Um, so, let's see. I played this for seven hours um, and I had played it once a few years ago and then just forgot, forgot about the, the game. So I'm not uh, your uh, fanboy. Um, so let's talk about seven reasons to back this Slate Aspire board game. Uh, and eight reasons why not why sh you should not back it <laughs> so uh, let's get rid of the stupid music okay uh, reason one to back it that is the rule book is in serif uh, it's very pleasant to read contrast is good um, actually it's one of the better better rule books um, and here you see this this is what i printed myself uh, uh, this is the latest greatest rubble um yeah so uh reason one is uh m well m most most games with s uh, serif rule books are high quality uh, because people know what they're building and they have done their research um reason number two is you're interested in the difference between the board game and the video game. Uh, there are a few differences. Um, and it has to do with summons, uh, for one thing. Uh, summons uh, are uh, summoned by uh, enemies and they run away yeah, in, uh, the, in the video game. And in the board game they stay. Um, there is a character with uh, which starts uh, unlocked in the video game, uh, and it has these uh, these orbs, uh, and you can uh, play around with these orbs. And uh, in the video game and in the board game, you cannot. Uh, there are uh, uh, yeah, and then there is let's see. Uh, some some uh, the the numbers have been scaled down of course uh, to keep it uh, streamlined uh, there is the same kind of uh, unlocks uh, but yeah uh, so uh, you you get what you uh, what you pay for um, there are some cancellations with weak versus uh, vulnerable uh, that are not in the video, video game, but they are in the board game. So uh, that's a valid reason. Um, if you are interested in technicalities, uh, how the video game plays and how the board game would play. Uh, reason number three to back it is all these positive reviews can't be wrong, right? Um, everybody loves playing. Uh, the board game and has been well for solo uh, somebody played it uh, until 3 a.m and uh, others played with friends uh, and up to including uh, act one uh, so it gets played at least once reason number four uh, is you love Slate Aspire but you don't have a steam mod and now you can play with friends Slate Aspire is a single player game uh, and the PC version has a mod, and th then you can play with friends uh, online. Uh, but now you can play with friends uh, in the same room, uh, which is of course better. So reason number five is you have pr friends that you can actually uh, regularly play with. Uh, reason, so that's a good reason uh, to to go for the board game. Um, yeah. So reason number six to get the board game is you have friends and for solo you love unlockables and secret boxes and shit 
uh, that is in board game as well as in the video game, and but also in other games. Um, now, reason number seven is you love the physicality of the board game medium. Uh, so you love uh, you love holding cards and play, uh, shuffling them. Well, you are doing the shuffling quite uh, quite a lot. Um, but how often do you play these these uh, unlockable um, board games? Um, let's be honest. Uh, will you ever get to uh, State Aspire, the board game, or any other game? So reasons not to back Slate Aspire. First of all, it's too expensive. Uh, I will not go into details because it depends on your locality. But for me, it was. Uh, let's go quickly into this. So you see here 152 for the collector's pledge uh, plus 100 art sleeves just to be on the safe side uh, would be 162 do US dollars. So that uh, depends on uh, how the dollar is. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm not going to. Um, it, it, it comes down to 190 euros including the shipping uh, and including everything so are you uh, going to uh, get this back you will never get your money back uh, if you want to get at least two two dollars per hour per player you would have to play it either solo for 75 hour, hours or you would well uh, in my case then for 80 hours um, and for multiple players uh, you could play it for 40 hours i say um, but uh, on the secondary market there is a lot of uh, 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 there are a lot of backers uh, in the 3000 4 4000 backers for the late pledge alone um, so okay uh, so a good reason is to just buy it on the secondary market and not buy it now um, because the clock is ticking and the FOMO is <laughs> present okay reason three to not back it this table uh, space is not mentioned what you see here is a big table board and uh, you have your own personal space and if you play this uh, alone then table space would be reasonable but the proposition uh, or the unique selling point is to pay with multiple players so they would all have this copy uh, around the table um, and you would draw monsters and these monsters come into a, a um, tableau uh, a grid uh, and you would have to manage this grid also uh, so a table would be at least one meter by one meter um, and that is after you have uh, sleeved everything. Um, reason number four is we don't know about the sleeve dur durability. Um, so uh, I would suggest if you go for it, then buy these 10 packs uh, for 10, 10, 10 euro things uh, for extra backup packs. Uh, gameplay is pretty singy in the video game. I have to admit that I got pretty bored doing this run uh, you have uh, so I've uh, unlocked the third uh, ca character yeah a good reason is to, uh, for the board game is you can play with all four characters um, this grid is always the same the enemies are mostly the same uh, they uh, they're just random um yeah and when you when you saw uh the the, the fungi beast uh, for the for the 50th uh, time uh, i mean how exciting is that so okay uh the ascension di difficulty so if you go into a higher higher uh, um, uh, skill modes if you're really good then there is ascension mode and that means that you have extra 
penalties. Uh, this is also here in board game, but in a board game, um, you you're not um, it 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 it. Uh, it's easier if you play with friends uh, because then, then you have the synergy bonus and you can attack every from every row. Uh, and in the solo mode, you uh, you would not have the, the the synergy. So the scaling is a bit a bit off. Um, but I don't think you will get much further in, in ascension mode here. Um, and this is if you are playing really fanatically, and then you get your money worth, of course. So, 4,000 backers, uh, last reason uh, not to back, a, uh, or the seventh reason is... Uh, so this is, uh, Ascension is, is only doable with multi-heroes, or two-handed uh, with synergy. Seventh reason is uh, there are 4,000 backers who will realize that game was not fun for Act 1 and not anymore. Uh, it's uh, taking up uh, dust on the shelf and they are looking to sell it, so just wait for it. And uh, reason number eight, uh, always good to mention, is never back first editions. This is uh, a one-to-one -one copy of uh, the video game. Video game is uh, mature and will, will not uh, evolve, I think. Um, but the board game probably will evolve. And there is also uh, on the video version, um, Slade Aspire 2. Um, so you can simply wait for Slade Aspire 2, or uh, yeah, if you have money to spare, um, well, you can you can pay for the product, or um, just uh, donate to Ukraine or something. There are many other roguelike uh, games that are far far cheaper. This is the Forgotten Road. Um, has an excellent roguelite version because I designed it. And uh, the last stronghold is also a game of attrition um, where uh, there is also a roguelite version in it. Uh, so then there is, of course, uh, Doom Rock, Assault on Doom Rock. Uh, which is cheaper and at least gives you something new. Um, 